Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing for crappy audio as usual. All right, all right, sounds good enough. All right, I, di I didn't stream it or record it, but uh, since my last UFO stream, I obviously, from what you can see here, I upgraded my UFO. All right, I, I upgraded it, put some uh, Star Wars, Star Trek style impulse engines on them, and they work beautifully. Uh, long story short, the vanilla engines, and I do mean all of them, the vanilla engines and space engineers absolutely fucking suck. You're better off using modded engines, alright? Use the modded impulse engines. Fuck using the vanilla space engineer engines. They absolutely are shit. These impulse engines are the fucking bomb, man. You gotta get these babies. They are they are fucking beautiful and they work damn good. But anyway, <laughs> what happened wh wh while uh, I was away, all to my lonesome, had a little space battle. Well, not space battle. It was on the Earth-like planet ground. But uh, regardless, I invaded this little fucking pirate area. Pirate area was whooping some ass. These are not the two only two UFOs that were here. They kind of this these pirates took out several of them. I had to keep spawning more of them in. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. These are these are not the only ones I had to fucking spawn in to fucking fight these assholes. But yeah, I finally I finally did manage to whoop their asses. But they put up a hell of a good fight. You know, I got to give kudos to them. They put up a damn good fight. Fucked my shit up. They shot down several UFOs. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I upgraded these bad boys. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's what happened. Also, I don't think it happened on this map. I could be wrong. But I did have a couple of invader players, man. And they kind of... They built their own little Star Star Wars uh, ship and started fucking with me and fucked up my build a couple of times. So I don't know what's up with that fucking dickheads, man. But uh, but regardless, regardless, I, I kept moving forward, you know. They ruined a day's worth of work both times, but fuck it, you know, it is what it is. I rebuilt it pretty quickly and shit, redid my work. But still... That, 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 that's what was up whenever you know whatever happened on on my build after you know since I last stream upgrade now the the engines is pretty much the only thing I upgraded I can't remember if I upgraded these turrets or not they might be the same ones but uh I don't remember I honestly don't remember but anyway Yeah, all them pirates fucked my shit up, man. I don't think I changed very much on the inside, if anything at all. Yeah, 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 the pirates did all this shit, man. They fucked my shit up. But, uh, I can't even tell how many of them got out here. I don't know why I'm lagging so damn bad right now. I guess it's all the UFOs. I don't know. Is there somebody else in my fucking server right now? I gotta see. No, just poor little old me. Let me remove some of these UFOs, man. Let's see if that helps clear up the lag. Uh, uh, or 
spawn, please. As soon as it responds. It's still not responding. I may have to switch to a different uh, save file. Not responding. Let me reload the game. I got task manager out. Okay, game, stop running, please. Okay, I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. Let me reload Steam, fuck it. How much is Star Citizen right now and that fucking armor or whatever it is? Damn it, didn't even type it. I don't even know how to properly spell it. Is it not through Steam or what? It ain't showing up. I don't know how it's spelled. I'm assuming it's not through Steam. <sighs> I could be wrong though. Let me see. Daisy. Let me see. What? Forty-five dollar for the base game. Okay. $53 for the Livonia edition. I have no fucking clue about any of it. What is this one with a purple tag? This is the yellow thing, I don't know. I'm <sighs> back to the space engineers. Oh god, that's so fucking irritating, that music. Some people like it, I personally don't care for it. Alright, let me try, let me pick a different map this time. One that's not gonna lag the fucking hell out of me. Better yet, I'll just create a new world, how's that? One I know it don't have no, a bunch of shit on it to lag me. It could be it could be the fact that I'm streaming too. 
you know, the cost in the leg. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be what it is. Man. Yeah. I'll get eggs back out. I'm creating a new one. Fuck it. Wait a minute. I forgot to choose the world. Star system. Let's try the star system. Take off the limits this time. Oh, I have infinite build capacity, or at least until my game crashes for a build being too damn big. One of the two. <clears throat> Your inventory size max. Blocks realistic. Assembler size. Refinery speed, or if just efficiency rather. No, keep welding the same. Uh, okay, now let's go realistic. A little size unlimited. Alright. Alright, looks good, I guess. Star system. Let me see. The possibility. Kill might come along, so I want to name the star system after my buddy Kill. And I may have terribly misspelled his name. So let me check Steam, see how he's got it spelled. Oh, damn it, I loaded up the wrong damn thing. Fuck. That's going to lag me out even more. K double I E L. Okay, all right, all right. K double I E L L. Shit, now I can't remember if it's two L's or one. I better look again. Let me fucking pop up already. One L. It's only one L, Jack. All right. All right. All right. Creative. I better make sure that these things are actually there. All right. All right. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Thanks for the like, people. Hey, I named my star system, my new star system after you, Kill. If you want to come along and play with me on Space Engineers. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> of course, I got a mega ton of mods. I don't know how your game will handle it.
That's cool, man. Maybe next time you, you, you can catch me on and while well, you're able to play. You know, with these new Star Star Wars Impulse engines or Star Trek, whichever they're they're from, that the modder based them off of, they might actually help your big battleship to fly, dude. Your carrier, whatever it was you was working on before. Yes, Megatron. Yes, I want to build fucking Megatron. Damn it. Yes, we got to hook up and do that. We got to recreate the Decepticon leader, Megatron. Megatron before he became Galron or Galvatron, whatever. What am I doing? I thought I was still loading, but it ain't. It's waiting on me. All right, come on. What the hell is this? Debug, what? I've never seen this pop up before. I, I, I don't, don't want to touch this. I don't know nothing about that. What the fuck is happening here? What in the fucking third nation is going on here? Okay, this is not necessarily new. Cause this happened before on a on Drax server when I tried to hang out with him. First time it's happened on my own damn server though. Let me main menu this shit. Yeah, it's a bug, yeah. It's happened before. Yeah, I think I, I might have to reload Steam again. I, it's taking too long loading out. Well, there it goes. That's, I'm just going to reload Steam and log back in. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I got to fucking shut off Discord. That's probably what caused it, Discord being, being running in the background. Using up too much of my PC's running capacity. Let me try loading back in now. Since I did, since I disconnected from from uh, Discord. Okay, what the fuck is your boggle system? I guess I'm going to reload Steam whether I want to or not. <laughs> Like my new background for Space Engineers. <laughs> Got my upgraded UFO picture on it. Oh, uh, noise. All right, all right, let's continue. Yeah, Discord, it, it's 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 a hog on your computer's running capacity, that's for sure. That's always been hard on my computers. I only use Discord whenever I'm trying to talk to somebody or contact somebody. Most of the time, I turn it off when I'm playing my game. Especially if I'm streaming, because it usually interferes with my stream somehow.
Even if I run Discord on a different computer, it don't matter. It's still taking up broadband with, and that's the main thing that I need to stream with. Kind of pour a glass of soda and a fizz is overflowing on me. <sighs> External, I don't know what you mean by that. Now, if you use a cell phone, that's different because you're running on two different, two different types of internet. It won't affect your stream if you're doing that. Because that's two different networks being ran. Alright. Alright, looking a lot better now. Right, let me get up higher. Love this mountain top. Why does it always spawn me in the exact same damn spot? I hate that. I hate this spot. Alright. There's what the undamaged bottom looks like. These turrets, LL, I made them to where they, uh, they, they kind of retract. They go, they go down inside, and these hangar doors can close and hide them completely. They can pop out and push the button. There's my trademark for space engineers. A red alert. And that red alert, it's, yeah, I got that from my mod. It's a Star Trek mod. This is like the control room. Not the bridge, because I was just on the bridge, but, uh, this is like the control room I, I, I set out for the uh, the hangar bay doors, you know, to, for the turrets. Here's my jump drives. Hey, LL, this thing can jump almost just short from one planet to another is how far this thing can jump, this UFO. It could jump that far almost from one planet almost to another planet. I mean, just short of getting there in, in one jump.
there's my gravity device. There are my cryo chambers. There's another set of them up there. This thing requires a butt ton of power though. It's sad, I don't really have much room to put anything else in it, but it's fuck it works though, that's the main thing. Trying to remember which chair I had as the pilot. Damn it. Where is that? Yep, this is it. There we go. Now let's go to orbit, shall we? It takes a while getting to orbit. I can't just raise the nose up and fly out normally as if it was a fighter jet. It, this one don't don't go to orbit like that. This one has to stay flat even, you know, with the ground and just keep raising upward, you know. Kind of like kind of like a flattened a flat version of the Apollo, you know, launch ship. You know, something like that. And instead of being a long stick, it's a fucking flat saucer. But it takes off into orbit the same way. You go you have to go straight up with it pretty much. Because if you don't, you'll bounce off the atmosphere and the gravity will pull you right back down. I've tried it. <laughs> No, I, I don't have to configure nothing. I put so many damn jump drives in it and so many megatons of power generators and megatons of large and small batteries. I've got so much power backed up and, and coming in. I can literally jump from one planet to another almost. I mean, just short of, of reaching a second planet. I want to show you as soon as I get to orbit. I'll show you how far, how far I can jump. One trip, one jump. You, 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 I want to show you what it can do. And I could jump multiple times. Well, you know, I have my, I have different ways of doing things. <laughs> One being, I don't understand the way other people do stuff. I don't understand the mechanics as well as other people. So I'm kind of fucking, you know, doing what I got to do to get shit to work, not understanding jack shit about it. <laughs> I experiment and just whatever fucking seems to work, I go with. <laughs> No, I got way too much power as it is. I actually need to downsize how many jump drives I actually have, honestly. And downsize some of the power generators. Not all, but a few. Oh yeah, these impulse engines, they do require a lot of power, I've noticed. So I may not be able to remove none of the power generators I have going. Because if I did, I'd have to remove some of the engines as well. And if I did that, the ship might not be able to reach orbit again. It might go straight down and crash the next time I try to get in the atmosphere. Yeah, I don't know if it would or not for sure, but I get that feeling it would.
Oh yeah, I also got a uh, hangar bay doors on the windows of the bridge too, kind of like a, a pretensy type of a uh, like a blast door type effect, so, so in case the enemy tries to shoot out the bridge. <laughs> One zero G, hurry up. Point th point three zero G's right now. Gotta wait until it reaches zero G's. Zero point zero zero G's. Point two seven G two five no two six I mean I wish I knew what I could do to make it move faster when I'm not jumping like flying around in either an atmosphere or an orbit I wish there was a way I could substantially increase the ship speed you know I hate this slow poking around shit. Adding more engines don't seem to have the speed that I want. I need to figure out a different way if it's even possible. Point two three G's. Fairly maneuverable too, as you can see. It's not all that maneuverable when I'm like like flying around within an atmosphere because of all the gravity. But I, out in space, yeah, it's pretty maneuverable. Maybe not as maneuverable as a fighter, but you know, it's still pretty maneuverable for a big ship. <laughs> yeah well you would think that if you look at it from the outside but when you walk around on the inside you realize you literally don't have room to do nothing but fly the damn thing and sleep <laughs> it's basically just a transport from just to travel from one place to another A to B travel it is basically a flying car an oversized flying car is more or less all it is because I can't fucking store enough. I got no cargo containers. None. Except for the medium ones that, that are supplying the turrets the fucking ammo they need. That's it. <clears throat> yeah. I did have some fucking refineries and assemblers and shit, but I had to, I had to gut everything out in order to Put more generators and batteries and shit that I needed to get the damn thing to fly. But that was when it had the other engines. Well, I don't know. These are pretty much power hogs too. 
But these engines work a hell of a lot better than, than the vanilla ones. Dude, the vanilla engines fucking suck. I, I put just a few of these on, on the bottom and this thing started fucking flying, man, when I switched out the engines. It made a big, big difference switching over the, to these engines. I hate the vanilla engines now. I, since I've used these, I absolutely hate using the vanilla Space Engineer engines. They suck. Point fourteen G's. I'm getting there. The moon right there. <laughs> yeah, it would. I'll try to spawn it in as soon as I do this jump to show you what, what my ship can do. I'll try to spawn a copy of your, your frame of your ship in. See if I can finish it and you can watch me do, do whatever I can do to it. If, if it will let me spawn it in. Because the last time I tried, after I copied the blueprint, it, it the game said the ship was too damn big and wouldn't let me spawn it in. <laughs> <laughs> it took up too much resource, too much CPU. <laughs> yeah, it is too big. You need to downsize that shit, man. <laughs> it was way too big. <laughs> I liked it though. It looked cool. It, it looked like something straight out of Star Wars, like Darth Vader's fucking Death Carrier, man. <laughs> His fucking you know, main travel ship. Okay, point ten G's. Still, we're getting closer to zero G. Point zero nine G. Come on, ship. Stop taking so long. The Titan engine, I'll have to look into that and see what that's about. <coughs> well, I downloaded a bunch of Star Wars and Star Trek mods because I want to build a Star Wars, Star Trek style ship with all that cool stuff. I just haven't had anybody on to play with in order to really help me with it. I want to do it right and I want it to look good and, and all that and I want to experience the fun with other people but it's kind of hard to do when I'm all alone man especially when I don't know how to do a lot of the stuff I need to know how to do in order to do it perfect Titan engines are perfect with the bigger ships that's good to know of course, I would assume that would be, you know being what the, what their name is. <laughs> Seven G's getting there.
put that little cockpit right there so I know which way the front of the ship is. <laughs> You can tell the back too, because the back has more engines than the front and sides do, obviously. I got a bunch. I got a bunch of stuff. I just don't remember what all I modded. I mean, what all mods I got. I got a bunch of ships from both Star Trek and Star Wars. I got a bunch of mods. That gives me decoratable stuff inside the ships as well. Some of the mods, you know, like for interior deck, actually are mechanical, you know, purpose like like warp cores that actually provide you know power to your ship. Working warp cores, you know, you can actually put fuel in them and, and use them for power generation, but yet look just like a like a Star Trek warp core of some kind, fed Klingon or whatever bunch of different stuff well it's like this uh so you can't see it while I'm flying it but that, that little Borg you know device at the bottom in the center that's also a warp core that's a Borg warp core and uh yeah that that, that fucking thing's huge on, on the big block ships uh, yeah Ugh, come on, okay. Finally made the zero G. Thank God. Now let me let me get the uh, jump drive on the computer chair here on the control chair. What do you want to call it? I guess it don't matter which number jump drive they are. That'll be enough junk drives. I don't want to put no more on there. All right, we're going to go to this planetary body way off in the distance that I'm pointing at. Don't know if it's a moon or a planet or, or what, but we're, we're getting ready to go there right now. There we go, Kill. Hope you're watching, buddy. Look at that. That's so fucking cool, man. I fucking love that. <laughs> you remember that time me, you, and Drac took off on that Klingon, the Borcha class warship? That was fucking fun. I miss that. <laughs> we try to do this again. I fell short of getting there. I'm going to try to hit it again. Let's see. Needs a few minutes to charge up 6%. It's alright though. It charges up fairly quick. Yeah, that's some kind of moon look like. Let me roll up another smoke. I love the way the ship sounded whenever it was powering up to do that jump. And the fucking effects. It was just like on Star Wars, man. That was fucking awesome. I fucking love it. <laughs> You got you gotta find some time to holler at me when you got time to play, man. We can go pedal around on my UFO or some other ship or whatever. Yeah, that would be nice, man, if they was to do some more to the game, man. I guess they're not gonna do much more to it. If anything, 
I'm actually shocked that that the that the Spark of the Future DLC came out. Thirty percent. Well, you know what? I'm gonna show you something else I made, dude. I'm not gonna worry about the UFO. I'm gonna spawn in a different ride of sorts. I'm gonna show you else what else I made. So let's do the first one. This here kill is my flying impulse jump chair. This is this is my fucking flying around admin style jump chair. I could just fucking fly around, go literally anywhere I want. I even got defense turrets on it. Got a big uh big nuke generator and several small nuke generators not that I need all of them but I figured it would help charge up the jump drive a little faster yeah it can fly it can fly damn good too This is basically a little fighter, you know, craft. It's a flying chair, but it's a fighter craft that could jump. It's got warp drive. Basically, a flying warp drive dri driven hover chair. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a flying chair that has warp drive capability with, with turrets. <laughs> Let me head back to this planet. I'll show you. <laughs> God, I fucking love that. That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in love with my chair now, aren't you? I know you are. It, it's it's on, it's on the workshop. You can download it, brother. You can download it and upgrade it, whatever you want with it. Now I don't know where my I left my UFO at. Uh. Oh shit, Kale, I lost my UFO, buddy. <laughs> I lost my UFO. I don't know where I left it. I'm going to assume it's this little moon-like planet over in the distance. 11%. Damn it. 12%. See, it's 13% now already. See, this, this chair charges up the jump drive quickly. It's going to be a few minutes still, though. Twenty percent. We'll be sitting here for a couple minutes. I know you love my chair. I know you do. I know you do. I know you want one. 
32%. I don't blame you, buddy. I don't blame you a bit. I want one in real life, damn it. <laughs> it you can take the guns off and the warp drive out. I just want a fucking flying chair, man. <laughs> Give me a hover chair. It don't even have to go all the way in the space or the sky or nothing. Just let it hover a few feet off the ground. I'd be happy. <laughs> I know it's fucking awesome. I can't get enough of it. Fucking love it. Forty six percent. It's ha got me almost halfway charged. Trying to get back to my UFO before I uh try spawning in your ship. That's if I can find my UFO. I probably lost the damn thing in space. Need to put a second large reactor on it, man. I'm tired of this fucking waiting around. Fuck it, I'm doing that. Fuck. Eighty three, see? Big jump. Uh these particular turrets are automated, so no. But I can put some on it that I can control and fire at will on my own. I could add some some on the front that you know be, be basically like it's hand controlled cannons. Like you know, like 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 guns that I I shoot myself. I just didn't get around to doing that. I ha I have gotten used to the automated ones. Here we go. 
Goku. Alright, now where, where did I leave my UFO? <laughs> I don't see it nowhere, that sucks. Oh, I lost my UFO. <laughs> Well, there's another way to get back to it. There is another way. See, now I'm back at it. <laughs> I cheated. I cheated, Mr. Kill. <laughs> yeah, well. All right, I'm back at my UFO. Let's see if we can spawn in your big hunk of junk cruiser. <laughs> your Imperial Death Star cruiser. <laughs> if, I could, if I could find it, that is. I... I'm not sure if I deleted it after I realized it was too big for me to spawn in or not. I just don't know. It's not showing up under the name under your name. Damn it. I'm not seeing it. I want to show you something else I'm, I, I kind of tweaked out though. Uh, let me see. ISS Starliner. Now this is not my build originally. I downloaded this ship from the workshop. But I put the I put the, the impulse engines on it because it had the up the old hydrogen style. And I've added some large cargo containers and I put like a nano machine inside of it. One on top and one inside. But uh it's got it's got the, 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 the STD Star Trek series uh, Terran Empire logo on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the ISS Starliner. Somebody else named it Starliner. I just put the ISS on it is all I really did. And switched out the engines and added this and that. I like this ship myself. It's fucking cool, I think. Somebody did a good job making this. I switched out the turrets too. They had normal style gun turrets. I put on the, the, the laser style turrets, which is the same thing, they just shoot lasers instead of bullets. I mean, rem remember how to get back inside. Take you on a quick tour. Let's 
see that where it says Pornhub? Uh, the original Arthur of the ship, he had it say net. He had, he had, he had this saying Netflix. I changed it from Netflix to Pornhub. <laughs> I thought, thought it would be funny. I, changed, make, I made this one say Red Tube. <laughs> oh, but wrong way. I love this shit myself. Somebody did a good job making it. I put that nano nano machine in there. I added that myself. All this uh, cargo. It used to be an identical ship to this that I kind of botched up. I crashed it and damaged it, so I said, fuck it, I'll just salvage it and uh, build a new one just like it. So I, I spawned in a new one and I salvaged the old one. That's why that nano machine's there, because I salvaged the old one with it. But yeah, the old one had structural damage, so I had to replace it. Well, I, I, it wasn't really my fault. I got hit by two different ships. They crashed into me while I was inside the ship walking around doing shit. So I had to run out there, find out what the fuck was going on. <clears throat> I saw another ship kind of clinging on to my ships. I said, what the hell? So I scrapped both of those ships that crashed into me, and then I ended up having to scrap my ship. But it turned out beautiful. I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. But it's not my original build, though. Somebody else started it and did most of very bit of the work. I, all I did was tweak it out a little bit, just a tiny little bit. Fucking love it, man. They, they did a good job, man. Now this has two showers, but the problem I'm ha I tried to put a bathroom on one side, like a toilet, but the mirror effect is is in is in effect on this build. Like I don't know how to turn off the mirror effect, so it don't so so that it don't do the same thing on both sides every time I try to change one side. I don't know how to undo that, so I'm stuck with it. No, this was another ship that crashed into mine. It was not my fault. My ship was parked and completely still was not moving. And and two other ships crashed into me. It, it's like my ship was a magnet and there was a tracker to it or something. She's jump. It's not on here. What the fuck's up with this? Oh, here we go. I 
watch the jump from inside the cockpit. Okay, take it easy, Kel, buddy. Have fun.
I seriously need to delete a lot of my blueprint. Yeah. Check out this data. This data list shit. It looks like a Stargate type build. I did not build it. Somebody else did. I downloaded it. Roughly the same size as a Starliner. <coughs> looks cool. Not quite the same as on Stargate, but hey, it still looks fucking badass. I'm not complaining at all. I'm, I'm liking it. Fuck, it looks fucking cooler up close than I thought it would. Heck yes. A fucking landing platform on top. Oh, look at those engines. Wait a minute, are they cosmetic? Yeah, those, those ain't engines, they're just fucking cosmetic. <laughs> that looks, still looks cool though. Still looks cool. There's engines behind them, so they're still technically engines. They just didn't look the way I thought. <laughs> oh, these are hangers. Okay. Just now noticed this. No control device? What the fuck? How do I get inside this bad boy? Ooh. Right here. Uh. That's a window, I think. There, right there. Damn! Why did they have to have it that high up? <sighs> Window, I guess. I did. can't even see it. Oh, okay. Something that comes in here and lands or takes off from in here or something. Apparently, something didn't quite copy over into this universe. 
I can only assume that. Like missiles or some shit. Yeah, that's got to be why those rooms are empty. Something didn't quite paste over into this world here. Oh shit, back outside. Must be another way in to get to the main areas. I'm assuming this is the bridge area. Find the way inside. I really don't like it when people hide the entry and exit door to, to the main areas, man. That's kind of annoying. You, you download one of their builds and then you fucking can't find the way in to save your life and you have to fucking cut through the damn bulkhead to get inside and out a door. <laughs> Take a chance on fucking something up on the other side of the wall you're cutting through. I am definitely going to retrofit this baby with the impulse engines. <laughs> I love this ship already, man. Where the fuck is a damn... Oh, this, has got... this is it right here. Heck yeah, I found it. Alright. Oh yeah, this must be the captain's chair. Alright. There we go.
That's better. Oh, I forgot to do something. Gotta do this before I change any, anything else. I hereby claim this ship in the name of the Terran Empire, damn it. Admiral Calamity in command. <laughs> now I can change it to whatever the fuck I want. Officially. <laughs> At least in my universe, my copy. The ship is huge. faster than I would have thought it would have been. I gotta go pee. Be right back. All right, I'm back.
Can't fucking spell it for nothing. I'm gonna cancel that. Don't remember how to spell it now. Fuck it. Oh, it already had fucking some here. Fuck. Oh well.
See, this mirror effect's fucking it up already. Well, I'm just going to put a regular block here instead. A square block, because it's going to fuck it up every time I try to do a shaped one. I don't like this mirror effect because of these reasons right here. It's good for the most part until you need to reverse sides on something and then that's where it fucks it up. That's alright though. Square blocks look just as good I guess.
just won't fuck it up. They're just typical square blocks. <clears throat> I would turn off mirror effect, but I don't know how.
this is where I'm ending the stream and I'm going to go to bed. So catch me in the next one, guys. Stay tuned for Clemente coming for you. Game close out already.